Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about indexed sequential access method. In short form it is also known as ISAM method. This lecture will cover what is ISAM, structure of ISAM tree, format of index nodes in ISAM tree, how to create an ISAM tree and how to perform search, insert and delete operations in an ISAM tree with suitable examples in this lecture. Let's now discuss what is ISAM method. ISAM is a static restructured indexing method that allows records to be accessed both sequentially as well as randomly. This method is known as static method because once the tree is constructed, the height of the tree, size of the nodes and number of nodes from root to leaf and index entries in non-leaf pages will never be changed. That remains constant once the tree is constructed. That's why this method is known as static tree structured indexing method. Since ISAM allows records to be accessed sequentially, it provides efficient support for performing range search. And this method also allows records to be accessed randomly. It also provides efficient support for performing equality search as well. Okay. Let us take an example for discussing this topic. In the student table, it contains four fields, roll number, name, age and grade. In this, roll number is a key field. Okay. Assume that the records are arranged sequentially as per key field that is a roll number. Okay. So, if we take this query that is select name from student where roll number is greater than 18 and roll number is less than or equal to 30. This query is an example that performs a range search because this query it will retrieve the names from the records whose roll number is in the range between 18 to 30. So, this type of query that performs a range search that can be efficiently performed if the records are arranged sequentially. That is, if the indexing method that provides sequential access, then this type of range search can be efficiently performed. Okay. So, if you take another example, that is in this query, that is select name from student where roll number is exactly equivalent to 18. This query is an example for equality search. Okay. This type of equality search can be efficiently performed if that indexing method provides random access. Okay. Since this ISAM method that allows records to be accessed both sequentially as well as randomly, it provides efficient support for both range as well as equality search. Okay. However, as a static method, ISAM is most effective only when the file is not frequently updated. So, it is less suitable for files that experience frequent growth and shrinkage. Okay. This is one of the drawbacks of ISAM. Let's now discuss the format of nodes that are used in, in an ISAM tree. In an ISAM tree, there are two types of nodes that are used. One is index pages, which are also known as non-leaf nodes. And another one is data pages, which are also known as leaf nodes. Okay. Every index node in an ISAM tree, it takes this format. Okay. That is index nodes contains collection of search key values and pointers. In this node, P0 up to PM represents pointers. K1 up to KM represents search key values. Okay. So, usually an index page contains M plus 1 pointers and M search key values. That is, it always contains one pointer entry more than that of search key value. Okay. As well, each search key value serves as a separator for the contents of the pages pointed by its left and right pointers. Okay, if we take the search key value K1, 
the nodes which are pointed by its left pointer always have the search key values less than that of k1 similarly the nodes which are pointed by its right pointer will take search key values greater than or equal to that of k1 that's why each search key serves as a separator for the contents of the pages pointed by its left and right pointers coming to data pages in data pages data entries that is actual records are arranged in sorted order by search key value so usually whenever actual records are represented in data pages we use the term k k asterisk so it represents the actual record associated with the search key value k because if we keep if we represent the actual record in the leaf nodes the tree structure looks very complex in order to simplify that we use the term k followed by asterisk symbol in order to indicate the actual data record associated with the search key value k okay so if we take this example in this two records are there where first record takes the search key value 20 the second one takes search key value 27 so to represent these two records in the data pages it can be represented as 20 asterisk and 27 followed by asterisk symbol let's now discuss the structure of an isam tree in this slide the simplified structure of an isam tree is shown usually every isam tree contains three types of pages one is index pages then data pages and overflow pages okay in this isam tree the all non-leaf nodes from root to this level all these non-leaf nodes are known as index pages in which m plus one pointers and m search key values used to be stored in index pages actual records never be stored because the index pages are created only to organize the records and access the records that are stored in the data pages that's the main purpose of index pages okay that is coming to the leaf nodes these leaf nodes which are at the bottom of the tree these are known as leaf nodes these are also known as primary data pages or simply data pages in this actual records are arranged sequentially as per the search key values okay whereas coming to the nodes which are which are represented under the leaf nodes and those are also connected by using a pointer these are known as overflow pages okay even in overflow pages are also actual records are stored but that overflow pages may not be sequentially arranged that can be scattered in the memory but they can be accessed using the pointer from the leaf nodes okay since actual records are stored in leaf nodes as well as overflow pages this primary pages as well as overflow pages both are known as data pages okay this is about structure of an isam tree let's now discuss the creation of an isam tree structure when an isam tree is created it follows a bottom up approach because when the tree is created the process starts from creation of nodes from leaf to root node that's why it follows a bottom up approach okay so let's now discuss the steps to be followed for creating an isam tree structure okay in the first step all the records in the data file that is data pages in leaf node need to be sorted on the search key field value okay when this first step is done the leaf nodes of the isam tree is made ready now for those leaf nodes index pages need to be created if there are more than one index pages this process need to be repeated until the topmost index level that is root node contains only one page okay let us now apply these steps for creating an isam tree for the given records okay here we have taken 12 records with the given search key values so as specified here the first step is we need to sort the 
records as per the search key values. So now the records are ready in sorted order. So before creating an ISAM tree, we should decide the size of the nodes in ISAM tree. So what we assumed in this example is two. So each node size in ISAM tree is, is two. So to store these 12 records in leaf nodes, we need six leaf nodes. Okay, now all these records are organized in leaf nodes of an ISAM tree. So, what, what should be the next step? We need to create the index pages for these leaf nodes. Okay, so to create index pages for these six leaf nodes, we need minimum we need to leaf uh, we need two index pages because each index page will contain three pointers and two search key fields okay okay accordingly there are two index pages are created as well you can observe the search key values in these index pages here 20 the search key value is the smallest search key value of the actual record that is pointed by its right pointer and 33 is the smallest search key value of the actual record that is pointed by its right pointer accordingly 52 also 63 also now there are more than one index pages in this level that's why we need to repeat the process until the until there is only one node in the root level Okay, now we created the node for root level. Now we need to decide the search key value for this root node. So guess what will be the search key value of this node? This should be the smallest search key value of the actual record that is pointed by its right pointer. Accordingly, what is the smallest search key value of the actual record that is pointed by its right pointer? It is 40. Okay. Like this, an ISAM tree can be constructed for the given set of records. Let's now discuss how search operation is performed in an ISAM tree. Okay, the steps to be followed for performing the search operations are given here. So, accordingly, the search operation must start at root index node, okay, in which key comparisons must be made with the search keys in the root index node. If the search key is less than the index key, then follow the left pointer. Or else if it is greater than or equal to the index key, then follow the right pointer pointing to its right child. Okay, this process needs to be continued until you reach a leaf node. Okay, and when you reach the leaf node, you need to search within the corresponding leaf node or data page for accessing the target data. Okay, just take this ISAM tree. Now we are going to perform and search operation for finding the record having the search key value 20. Okay, to access this record, what is the first step? The step, first step must start at root node. Okay, accordingly, now the search key value must be compared with the key value in the root node. So if it is less than that of the root node, then we need to follow the search must follow the left pointer. Okay, so since it satisfied uh, satisfy that condition, now the search follows the left pointer. Again, the comparison is made with the first value in the next index node. So now this 20 is not less than that of the key value in the index node okay so what should be done next we need to check either it is greater than or equal to 20 so accordingly when we check this is 20 greater than or equal to 20 yes of course it satisfies the condition so now the search follows the right pointer okay so now the search it reached the leaf node now it can access the actual record with the search key value 20 like this Search operation is performed in an ISAM tree.
Let's now discuss how insertion operation is performed in an ISEM trip. Okay. Whenever an insertion operation is performed in an ISEM tree, to insert a record into an ISEM tree, first the corresponding leaf node of an ISEM tree in which that record is going to be inserted need to be identified. Okay. If there is a space in that leaf node, then insert the record there. Otherwise, create an overflow page then insert that record into that overflow page. So now we are going to insert a record having the search key value 23. Okay. So to insert this, we need to first locate the corresponding leaf node in which it has to be inserted. So for locating that, first it, the process must start at root node. The search key comparisons must be made as we did in search operation. So now 23 is compared with the key value in the root node. Since it is less than that of the index node, then the process follows the left pointer. Then again the comparison is made with search key value in the next index node, that is 20. So now 23, it is not less than 20 and it is greater than or equal to 20. So since this condition is satisfied, the search follows the right pointer. Now the corresponding, we reached the corresponding leaf node. But in this leaf node, there is no space. That's why what to be done? A overflow page need to be created and in that, the record having the search key value 23 need to be inserted. Okay. Now that node must be connected with the pointer. Like this, an insertion operation happens in an ISA entry. Okay. So now if we try to insert a record having the search key value 48. So do the same process. First, search key value must be compared with the key values in the index nodes. Okay, so when it is done with the root node, it is not less than that and it is greater than or equal to uh, the uh, key value of index node 40. So that's why the process follows the right pointer and it is compared with the first value in the next index node and it is less than that. That's why the process follows the left pointer then there is uh, the corresponding leaf page is reached since there is no space. Now the overflow page is created. In that overflow page, now the record having the search key value is inserted. Okay. So if suppose if you want to insert the record with search key value 41, the same process need to be followed. Okay. Now the record with the search key value 41 is will be inserted into this available space in the overflow page. Okay. Now, if you try to insert the record with the search key value 42, then the same process need to be followed. Okay, when we follow the uh, process, uh, we will reach this leaf node. Since there is no space in that, the, again, the process continues to its overflow page. In that overflow page is also no space. That's why one more leaf overflow page need to be created. In that overflow page, now the record with the search key value 42 need to be inserted. Okay. So now you can notice in the overflow pages, the records, if we observe this, the search key values of the records are not sequentially arranged. Okay. This is one of the drawback in ISAM tree. Okay. Let's now discuss how to delete a record from an ISAM tree. Okay. When a record is deleted from an ISAM tree, these steps need to be followed. Okay. Initially, the data page from which that actual record need to be deleted, need to be identified with its search key value. Okay. Usually, the actual records can be available either in primary page or else in overflow page. Okay. Whatever it may be, 
that corresponding data page need to be identified first. Once it is identified, that actual record with that search key value need to be removed from that. Okay. If that record is re removed from an overflow page and if that if that removal makes the overflow page empty, then remove the complete overflow data page. Okay. And if suppose if that removal makes the primary data page empty, then it need to be maintained as a placeholder for future insertions. Okay. It should not be removed. Even though the primary data page becomes empty after the removal, it should not be deallocated. Because once the structure is created from root to leaf, that structure should not be changed. It remains constant because ISAM tree is a static tree. So that leaf node should not be deallocated. It need to be kept as a placeholder for future insertion. Okay, as well. Don't move any of the records from overflow data pages to primary data pages, even if that removal creates space for doing so. Okay, whenever a record is removed from primary data page, and if that primary data page becomes empty, then the records from overflow pages should not be moved to primary data page. Okay. So, these are the points need to be followed while deleting a record from an ISA entry. Okay, let's now try to delete a record with a search key value 42. What should be the first step? The data page in which 42 is available need to be identified. Okay, so first the process must start at root node. So, 42 is compared with 40. It is not less than 40, but it is greater than or equal to 42. This condition is satisfied. So, right pointer, the process follows the right pointer. And then when it's compared with the next index node, then process follows the left pointer. Then now, the record with the search key value 42 is identified in the overflow page. In this page, it is now in this node, in this overflow node, the record with the search key value 42 is found. Now, from this node, the record with that search key value can be removed. Once it is removed, the complete overflow page becomes empty. So, what should be, what should be done now? This overflow page, which is empty now, need to be deallocated. Okay, it is deallocated. So, now let's try to delete a record with the search key value. 52. So, then we try to identify the data page. The process follows the right node and then coming to this index node, it follows the right node of 52 search key. Okay. So, now the record with the search key value 52 is identified. Here it is in the second node of its right child. So, it is identified here. So, now uh, now, this record can be removed. Okay. So, now let's take one more delete operation. That is deleting a record with the search key value 55. So, now the record with the search key value 55 is available here in this leaf node. Okay. So, when it is removed, what happens? The complete primary data page, which is the leaf node of the ISAM tree, now it becomes empty. Though it becomes empty, now this node should not be deallocated. It should be kept as a placeholder for future insertions. We will discuss advantages and disadvantages of ISAM indexing method. Coming to advantage, ISAM indexing method performs well when data does not change frequently as well if there are no large overflow chains are created. Then only ISAM indexing method performs well. Okay. Coming to the next advantage, there is no locking and waiting is required for accessing index pages. So, this supports concurrent access to the entries in index pages. Okay. Since 
actual records are stored only in leaf pages a uh, locking is required only on leaf pages in order to prevent concurrent changes in the actual records okay coming to the disadvantage when more records are inserted into isam it creates non sequential overflow chains so when search operation is performed it may degrade that performance so this is about isam tree students if you find this video useful to you kindly subscribe this channel thanks for watching